Yeah, so what Ed was it Biller. like working with, uh, with Ed? Um, it was phenomenal. It was, it was amazing. I mean, Ed just really became like a fifth band member. He really did. We're still really close friends with him. And he um, comes and visits a lot and stuff. And we, we just we're on the same wavelength. So okay. it worked out really well. He was one of our first choices, and we got him. So we're really happy about that. That's, that's cool. All right. So was that uh, like a big influence for you as, as kids? Listen to the second first? first? Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah, I, 14, 15, you were turning on MTV watching it every day. And um, when we got to, a, when we actually got the chance, when he said like he was interested in working with us, uh, we were ecstatic. We were like, oh, you know, part of one of our all-time favorite bands, and you know, so growing up, you know, it was great. So. And would you have worked with him if he hadn't produced the Suede and Pulp album? Well, I don't know if we'd know of him. So <laughs> what was that? I wouldn't know. I don't think we'd know of him if he didn't do yeah. Suede. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. And the thing is that with um with with Ed, it was like. Um, I mean, our work ethic was like this on the same level, and we just kind of like just clicked, you know. I I don't know if I was a big psychedelic first fan, but we just toured with Love Spit Love, and Richard Butler is a really cool guy. So you know, I'm a big fan now. But I think it was more because of Suede and Suede.